Hello, yes, Joe Owens is right on UKIP and Brexit. That's right. Didn't I predict, if you remember those that have been watching these videos, didn't I predict when Nigel Farage prematurely and foolishly left UKIP that the enemies of this country would take control of UKIP? Is that not what's happened? Since Nigel Farage left, we had the and bags at dawn, the European Parliament, Stephen Wolfe and Mike Hookham. After that, we had the embarrassing love affair with Henry Bolton and Joe Marley. Embarrassing UKIP, uh, causing controversy and turning members against members and whatever. Some supporting them, some against them. Splitting UKIP nearly. All under the guise of a toxic love affair. That's how the state does it. It's not naked disruption. Then after that, he goes, Henry Bolton, Jared Batten takes over, another one working with the secret states. He takes over and what does he do? Declares war on Islam. Suicidal for any political party that wants to do well at the polls, right? Suicidal. Yes, he declares war on Islam. You see, the public's not interested in Islam as long as it stays away from them. They're more concerned about who's emptying the bins, getting the trains running on time and so on and so on, more jobs and whatever, more better housing and whatever. They're not interested. As long as the muzzy stay in the little ghetto, they're not bothered. But anyway, he declares war on Islam and, to add insult to injury, he allows idiotic, dubious characters like Count Dankula to join UKIP What's his uh, political background? Well, exactly. Teaching his pug to see Kyle on YouTube. Who is he? Well, exactly. Why has he got a stupid, silly name? Count Dankula, right? Count Dickhead, right? And he's obscene, to say the least. Why would you allow him anywhere near you, Kip? Well, exactly. What savvy political leader would allow him into you, Kip? You wouldn't. And then, so got to back at like a name out of Lord of the Rings. Well, what's all that about, you fucking idiot? Right? What's all that about with your silly name? Well, exactly. And that's what you kippers, the decent, sensible members, voters, supporters, that's the first thing they'd be asking themselves. Who are these characters? Then we've got Tommy Robinson is the vote this Sunday by the members, whether or not he's allowed in or not. What savvy, political, intelligent, sensible leader would allow him in? Violence and confrontation, a war on Islam, that's all he pushes. Not about getting the bins emptied on time. Jobs, housing, welfare, social care, the list is endless. Oh no, it's a war and the public doesn't want a war. The public doesn't want no violence or war with anyone. So what I predicted was going to happen to UKIP has happened, right? It has happened. Brexit again. I think those that have been around as long as myself knew quite well Theresa May Vincent Price was going to sell us out. Anyone that believed otherwise must have been extremely naive, right? She's from the same cloth uh, Edward Heath and all the rest of them are from, right? Uh, so it was a foregone conclusion what she was going to do. Nigel Farage foolishly put his faith in the Tories, believed that democracy will have to prevail and she'll have to deliver well. <sighs> What can I say? Common superfluous, as John Tyndall used to say. So, Joe Owens is spot on again. Everything I say all comes true, right? I must have a crystal ball in front of me. So, what's going to happen now, Mr. Farage? I'll direct this message to you, or question, should I say. What's going to happen now, right? They're not going to get rid of her, right? There's not going to be no leadership challenge and she goes she's there she's there for the duration and she's gonna sell us out right and the backlash that everyone knew was coming over the horizon where's it gonna go can't go to Corbyn and his lot right so where's it gonna go to UKIP but by the time it gets to UKIP UKIP would have been brought to its knees through various controversies embarrassment behavior uh, disruption, violence, Tommy Robinson Roadshow, the full package, right? So where's the backlash going to go? Well, it's going to fizzle out and we're going to be a slave to the European Union and this indefinite, you know, what, what, what is it, the customs union, eventually we'll just slide back into everything, single markets, assuming she, she hasn't kept us in that as well. Uh, so that's what will happen. The backlash will just fizzle out 
and that's the end of it, right? And Theresa May Vincent Price will you say uh, a few nice things. Oh, listen, you know, uh, this is for the best and there's more jobs and this and The public will just, again, they'll just give in because they'll be that demoralised and be just that fed up. And this is what happens and they know they'll get away with it. It doesn't matter how many resign or what leadership challenge happens. It doesn't matter. She's going nowhere. She sold us out. And the only possible alternative, if that's the right word, was UKIP. And that's why the enemy has taken control of it, Mr. Farage. You left too soon, right? That's what happened, right? They were waiting for you to leave. Because don't forget, they're listening on the airways, Mr. Farage. They're listening on your phones, uh, you know, uh, reading your emails, your texts and whatever. So they know what your intentions were once um, after the Brexit uh, referendum leave European uh, Union. They knew what you were going to do. So what they've done, they've let you go, and then the, the enemy's taken control. So don't forget, the enemy was always in there from day one. They didn't just arrive in there last week. They've been there from day, day one, like they were in, in British nationalism from day one, right? What's been happening to British nationalism? The, uh, the past 40 years are now happening to UK, right? So what's now going to happen? Are you going to get back in there? Is there going to be a leadership challenge in March? Because UKIP's in the hands of the enemy, right? And they're not passing UKIP back to you without a fight. But it's going to be interesting what happens regarding Tommy Robinson's, let's see if he's allowed in, and then let's see what other embarrassment and controversies happen. Uh, more handbags at door, maybe, or more violence on the street, Tommy Robinson and his laws. I don't know, we, we shall see. But everything that I predicted, it's all come true. It's all happened. Right, I must have a crystal ball. You believed in the democracy would have to prevail, Mr. Farage and Theresa May Vincent Price would have to deliver. Well, I'll, I'll, oh, I'm lost for words here because it's so frustrating. It's like Nick Griffin when he handed the BMP to Adam Walker, who was working for Hope Not Hate. Christ, I still can't get my head around that. But anyway, Mr. Farage, you've got to get your act together and get in there and save UKIP. Okay, thank you.